Tim, there's been um, a lot of calls for West Coast to become more aggressive in their list rebuild. Do you have an opinion on um, whether you should um, speed things up there? Yeah, look, um, that's just, you know, that's just how we don't think like that. Um, you know, rebuild sort of the last thing on our minds right now. Um, the main priority right now is um, is getting back to our best footy and, and winning games. So, um, you know, there's been plenty of opportunity for young players this year to play. Uh, I think we've played something like 41 players this year, which is, I think, at an all-time club's high. So, um, you know, the opportunities are going to be there. But for us, it's, you know, playing a team that we think is going to win games and getting back to winning. When you came west and joined the club, did you were you prepared um, to go through a patch like this? Um, I mean, oh, yes and no, I guess. Like you just, I mean, you never know. Um, you know what's going to happen. Our, our last couple of weeks has been, you know, very poor. We we understand that. We know that, and um, you know we're working pretty hard you know, behind closed doors on the track and um, in meetings to, to make sure that we can be a lot more competitive than what we've been. So um, it's not ideal, the situation we're in, um, and we get that, but like I said, we're doing everything we can to, you know, to get better and, um, and get a win as soon as we can. Yeah, hey, Tim, um, what's the fallout been from the Port game? You're talking about getting better. What's been the specifics of um, the fallout? Yeah, I think Simo touched on it um, pretty much straight after the game, but just um, our sustained effort and intensity and, and work rate, being able to, you know, being able to sustain that. I think we started pretty well in the first quarter and it was a pretty even contest. Um, you know, the in order to be able to match it with um, you know some of the better teams and or any team really, um, you got to be able to do that for four quarters. So um, you know that second quarter in particular, the game got away from us, and um, yeah, you know we 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 never really look like coming back after that. So um, it's been able to sustain that, and obviously you you want to play the game in your front half. So you know getting the ball inside our uh, forward fifty, and that's. Um, you know, I'll take a big responsibility in that, um, being one of the mids and, you know, it's a big onus on the, the mids to, to make sure we're getting the ball, giving the forwards best look as we can and as a team working behind that and, um, you know, playing the game in our half. So, um, yeah, they're sort of our focuses uh, moving forward. And Tim, you've lost Elliot Yo to concussion protocols. Um, how's he doing in the aftermath of the game? Um, I'm actually not too sure. Um, I mean, he's seen pretty fine on the plane uh, coming back. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't think I've seen him the last couple of days. So, um, yeah, I, ho I hope he's all right. Yeah, and Greg Clark is a bit of a like-for-like -like with Yo, that kind of midfield ball. He had 28 touches and nine tackles for your waffle side. Is he someone the club's looking at to come in for Elliot? Yeah, I'm not too sure, but yeah, Clark is definitely, um, you know, he's he was pretty close, um, you know, before he had that shoulder injury during pre-season. He's had a great pre-season and, you know, he's been um, working really hard at um, working on his craft and understanding the way we play and how he fits into that. So um, he's definitely one who could come in and, and play a role for us for sure. So big body mid, loves a contest, um, cracks in. So, um, yeah, I dare say it wouldn't be too far off. And Kane Corns Just... made a bit of a bold statement on Footy Classified, uh, said Yo was clearly out of shape and um, claimed that his injury rod could be through fault of his own. What's your reaction to that as a player and a teammate? Yeah, look, I think, <clears throat> I think you need to cut Yoey some slack there. You know, he's someone who's, um, you know, just had a, a horrible run, um, injury after injury. This is a tough game we play, and you need you need um, continuity. You know, in order to find your best footy, you need to be able to get into a rhythm, get into 
you know, a routine where you're playing week in, week out. And he just has, hasn't had that luxury since, since I've been here, basically. So, um, you know, and then it's, it's, it's being match hardened and, and having that behind you, you know. So he's, he's missed a lot of footy. And, um, yeah, I think, yeah, I think he's been a bit harsh done by there. So, um, look, we'll, we'll stick by Yoey. We'll support him as best we can and hopefully he's not too far away. Kane Corn, Tim Kane Corn said he shouldn't have played. Like he wasn't up to AFL standard and that he shouldn't have been picked. Is that fair? No, not at all. Not at all. Um, I actually thought we looked pretty good as a midfield group until he, um, you know, unfortunately got concussed. So, you know, we, we, we look so much better as a midfield unit with him in it. Um, he's a headache for the opposition. Um, he's someone they've got to put a bit of time into. So, um, yeah, like I said, um, I felt like we really lost our way and he, um, I think he, he sort of had a part to play in that. So he might not have got, um, you know, early in the game, might not have got as much of the ball as he would have liked and, and whatnot. But overall, we look um, a much better team um, with him in it. So, like I said, fingers crossed he's not too far away. Further to that. Um, I suppose your representative of, of what this team's gone through in a while, you had the, um, went into protocols around round one and then came back and did a hammy. How hard has it been to find that rhythm which you talked about with Yoey? It feels like the whole group's having the same kind of struggle. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I mean, I haven't, you know, I guess I've been lucky in a way. I haven't really had to deal with that too much, um, you know, being injured and that. But, um, yeah, it's popped up a little bit um, as of probably the last, you know, year or so. But, um, yeah, this year it was a bit frustrating. Um, felt like I had a really good pre-season and then um, obviously missed out in round one because of COVID. And, um, you know, personally, I don't feel like it had much of an effect on me, but it you know, threw me out of whack um, in terms of my, you know, routine and, um, you know, not being at the club and being able to train with your mates and, um, you know, it just, yeah, threw me out of my routine and come back to a hammy and I'm not really someone who's, who does a lot of um, soft tissue injuries. So um, it sort of got me in that sense, um, you know, and missed a couple of weeks and then come back and, yeah, so on the weekend was the first time I played back-to-back -back games. Um, you know, felt much better uh, than the week before. So that's something that, you know, so a lot of our players are going through. But um, like I said, we're not really using COVID um, as an excuse now. Um, you know, most of the guys have had it and we're sort of past it. Um, still dealing with injuries here and there. But, um, you know, the team we pick is a team we, we, we believe is going to get the job done game day. So, um, yeah, we make no excuses there. But it felt like you had one of your better games for the club, so I'm assuming that bit of continuity you just you've got with a few games together now plays that part. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, like I said, this is a tough game. Um, you need to, you know, you need to. It's like riding a bike. You know, you can't. You're not just going to come back and, um, you know, kill it and whatnot. You know, so for us, it's. You know, it's a, it's a long road. So, yeah, I felt good. I felt, you know, I felt better. I felt like a, personally, I felt like a bit of a passenger in the Swans game and um, felt like it took me a while to get going and felt a lot better on the weekend. So, fingers crossed, you know, feel even better this week. Just Andrew, one on uh, Andrew Gaff's a big part of that one. Tim, Andrew Gaff's a big part of that midfield group. Uh, how, how confident are you that he's ready to come back this week? Yeah, I mean, he. Um, we'd love to have Gaffy back. Uh, runs all day, and um, we've probably missed him the last couple of weeks. But um, he trained today, so um, I guess you know we'll see how he pulls up, and um, yeah, if he's ready to go, um, he'll. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I assume he'll he'll probably play. Um, you know, if he's gets a green light, so fingers crossed. I'll jump back in there. Just, I was just going to ask you about Greg Clark. I know you mentioned him before and we don't know if he's going to debut, but um, he's had a similar career path as you coming through the waffle and getting picked up a bit later. 
in the draft. And I heard Gaffy talking about him a bit like Matt Pris on radio this morning. What's he like around the group and what's he like with his preparation? Yeah, Clark, he's, Clark, he's been great. He's, um, from the moment he walked in, he's just, yeah, eager to learn. Um, eager to learn uh, how we play and, and how he best fits in. So, um, like I said, he was, oh, I would have thought he probably would have played round one had he not um, injured his shoulder during pre-season. So, you know, very unlucky, but, um, you know, he was always going to get his opportunity at some stage and, you know, he's worked really hard with his rehab. Um, he's looked pretty good in, in our Waffle Eagle side the last couple of weeks. And, um, you know, he's just, been, he's just been a sponge. You know, he just just eager to learn, um, you know, wants to learn off us, wants to work with us. And, um, yeah, he's been, you know, he's been great from the moment he's walked in. So, um, you know, we'll see, how, yeah, another, you know, I'm not, I, I don't really know who's, who's in, who's out, but, um, yeah, he was on the track today and he looked good and he's got some good form behind him, so you never know. Hello, Tim. It's Chatters here from AAP. I just wanted to ask you about um, playing on a Friday night. Obviously, a couple of weeks ago, you guys, it was a, it was a massive flop, and <clears> I guess clubs just clamoured to get those Friday night time slots. How conscious are you as a player group of, of putting in a, a good performance, especially on those prime time slots? Yeah. Um, yeah, obviously disappointing what we dished up a couple of weeks ago. Um, you know, the Friday night time slot, the whole country's watching, um, home crowd, all of that. So playing in front of the uh, friends and family. So you want to play well. And um, yeah, we get, we look, we, um, yeah, it didn't work out for us a couple of weeks ago. Um, and we get a chance this week to, to fix that. So um, yeah, obviously you want to play well um, in these time slots. And um, that's what we're looking to do. Like I said, get a win as soon as we can. And um, yeah, hopefully that's, that's this week. And what's it like for you personally at the moment? You're, you're in the peak years of your career and it looks like West Coast is going to have to go through, you don't have to say a rebuild, but it looks like a transition phase at the very least. What's it like for you knowing that you're in your peak years and there could be a few tough years ahead? Yeah, look, uh, I'm not really thinking too far ahead. Um, you know, for me, I'm, I'm just locked in uh, right now um, with, you know, everyone at the club. We're, Everyone's job right now is just to do everything we can to, to get back to our winning ways. So not really thinking too far ahead. Um, you know, my priority this week, yeah, my priority right now is this week. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how, how things pan out um, over the next, you know, once this year's done and whatnot. But um, right now we're, we're not thinking too far ahead. It's this week. So, yep. As a play group, what sort of goals have you guys set for this year? Sorry, what was that? Oh, just um, as a player group, what sort of goals have you guys set for this year now? What can you get out of the year? Um, I mean, we haven't really set, um, you know, sat down and set goals, you know, um, but obviously we're, um, you know, in a little bit of a hole right now. You know, we're not, we're not exactly where we want to be. We're, we're one and five. Um, and um, the last couple of weeks, we've, what we've dished up hasn't been quite good enough. And um, I guess the biggest thing for us is just, you know, we need, we need to get better. We need to get better. You know, um, standards need to get better. The way we train, um, the way we prepare for games, and then the way we execute on game day. So um, that's, that's, that's the main priority is, is, is just getting back to that, being harder to play against. You know, um, I guess respect as well. Um, you know, we're probably getting um, looked at right now as a bit of an easy target. So, um, you know, it's on us to be able to change that narrative um, and how we're, you know, perceived by the club. So, um, we had a chance to do that this week. Tim, I've got to ask, um, Adam Simpson last night alluded to the fact that there, there could be a, a, another developing COVID situation in the club, do you think, is that something that might affect you come Friday? Is there a chance that could be players missing due to COVID? Um, not really too sure. Um, I haven't really been updated on, you know, I think it might be staff members, um, a couple of staff members who, who may have had it. But like I said before, I think, I think most of the players by now, I think perhaps our whole playing group's just about had it. So, 
um, you know, it's we're sort of past that now. Um, we, we make no excuses. We're definitely not using that as an excuse. G'day, Jim. Just one on Richmond. They're coming off a five-day break and an emotional Anzac Eve game, as they always are. Do you think they're, they're gettable on Friday night? Um, it's a hard one, you know. I think they're, um, yeah, they're probably, um, you know, they, they, Melbourne's, you know, Melbourne's going pretty well at the moment and, um, you know, Melbourne sort of touched them up around the contest and I think that's the, that's the challenge um, for us is um, whether we can, you know, expose them in that area as well. So, um, you know, I think there's still a lot of belief and a lot of confidence there that, um, you know, they're, their best footy is good enough, so um, yeah, it's on us to, to be able to match it this week. So um, back at Optus, um, you know, we haven't performed well there the last you know all year basically. So um, yeah, fingers crossed we can get a win in front of our fans. Mm -hmm.